Hello everyone, long time since I last made a video and I'm sorry about that. Um, essentially I've been so busy and uh, yeah, I'm uh, quitting my full-time job and going full-time into development and uh, the startup that I'm also working for because I'm currently working two jobs. Uh, I will be going full-time with them hopefully. Um, and I'm starting my own agency and already have one dev working for me. All right, so this is gonna be the follow-up video on the notifications uh, system that I've created, the dynamic system, and it all works through this table right here. So essentially what I have going on is just a notification queue. So it's gonna have a title, a message, who it's going to, and this boolean is broadcast this basically tells me if it's going to go to every user or if it's for a specific user so for example this one uh, i'm going to go through and show you that in this app i have a streak counter um, and it'll send push notifications when you're on a hot streak and essentially this is like Duolingo's uh, system. So uh, basically we can go here and look at how the system works. So this is a task. So this is going to be a paid feature in Xano. Um, you don't have to do it this way, but this is uh, the better way to do it. Um, essentially you can just fire off the push notification as soon as it happens and not run it as a task. Um, so basically it goes through the records of that table that I just showed you and it makes it sends off the push notification um, and then it deletes it from that table. So I will show you right now the function where all this is happening. Uh, it's going to be right here. So this is a gamified experience uh, in this app. So it basically, you know, tracks all your activity and data uh, from within the app. And here is the long, the super long function that calculates all this. Um, and essentially what's going to happen is that if the current streak uh, is like it becomes a hot streak, it's going to send an update and add a record in that table that I showed you. Um, and that's pretty much how the whole system works is whenever an, I have another table called user events and depending on the type of user event, uh, it's going to create a notification. Um, and let me go back real quick and show you in this uh, notification uh, so we're just making, we're creating the notification here and we're adding in a title and stuff and body. This is just a sample one. And then we're constructing the message and, uh, that should be a dynamic token right there. And then we are using the FCM Google APIs and I'll drop a link in the description to where you can find this and constructing the external API requests. And yeah, we're, you can easily do this with the, with the snippet, the Google services snippet. So I highly recommend using that created by Michael at Xano. And I will try and put together a snippet for this uh, dynamic notification system. Um, and I'm also working on a template for uh, the part one of uh, the video, which is how to connect Xano with Firebase. So I will have a prefab or a template that you can purchase in the Flutterflow marketplace. And that will also come with a Xano snippet uh, and <clears throat> basically have it all set up for you. Um, so you don't have to follow that really long video and then you can just start projects super easily using it. Um, 
So basically that is how the system works. I know this isn't very detailed, but this will give you some of the logic and how to build it out yourself. Um, and as I said, I will be creating the snippet for this and I'm unfortunately going to have to charge for these things because my time is becoming too valuable and uh, I need to support me and my family. So yeah. Uh, I will try to create videos on how to do all this stuff so you can, if you don't want to, or you can't afford uh, the cost of the snippet and templates, uh, you can just follow along in the video. Uh, but unfortunately, yeah, I'm running out of time every day and I have so much on my plate. So I hope this was helpful and please let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see in the next video. Thank you.